Hello, boys and girls. So yesterday we learned how to combine short, short choppy sentences um, using the conjunctions and, but, and, or. Remember those are conjunctions. The word junction means where things come together. So we put, let's look at our sentences down here. Um, we have these short choppy sentences. I am a dancer. You are a skater. When we combined those two sentences by adding a comma after dancer and we joined them together using the word and. So I am a dancer and you are a skater. This one was Tori knows how to swim. She doesn't like it. And when we had to combine those two sentences using the conjunction, but Tori knows how to swim, but she doesn't like it. And then our last sentence was, Jamal will be a doctor. He will be a teacher. And we had to combine those two sentences using the word or. Jamal will be a doctor, comma, or he will be a teacher. Well, today we're going to be combining. We're going to be, we're going to be fixing some short choppy sentences, but we're going to be doing it a little bit differently. So this says you can combine short choppy sentences by joining the subjects of two similar sentences. So the subjects are the nouns, who or what the sentence is about. Okay. So it says, read each pair of sentences, combine their subjects to create one sentence. So let's look at this. Number one says, my mom is a nurse, period. My grandma is a nurse, period. Those are two very choppy sentences. And what I notice is, that guess what? Mom is a nurse. Grandma is a nurse. How would we combine these two sentences into one? If they're both nurses, can we write my mom and my grandma are nurses? That's how we would combine them. So what I want you to do is I want you to follow along with me. You're going to write what I write. You can pause um, your video if you need to. So I'm going to combine my mom is a nurse and my grandma, my grandma is a nurse. I'm not going to use a conjunction for these sentences because like they're both saying the same thing, except the subjects are different. So we don't have to write my mom is a nurse comma and my grandma is a nurse. That just sounds thick. So we're going to write my mom and my grandma. So we're going to use the word and my mom and grandma. Now this says is a nurse. That's talking about one person, but now we're, we have two subjects. We have mom and grandma. So we have to use the word are. It wouldn't say, it wouldn't make sense to say my mom and grandma is nurses. That that's not correct. So my mom and grandma are nurses. We have to add that S because we're talking about two people two nurses. My dad teaches music. My uncle teaches music. How would we combine those two sentences? I'm going to have you do this on your own. I'm going to give you some clues though. So we have two subjects. We have dad and uncle. And what do they have in common? They both teach music. So how could we combine how could we, we make one sentence out of these two? Okay. You're going to do, it's going to look similar to our first sentence. You're going to do this one independently. So go ahead and pause the video and write that sentence and then click play after you're done. And then we'll go on to the next section. Read the paragraph, underline two pairs of sentences that could be combined. Then combine the sentences in each pair to make longer sentences. Write the new sentences. So remember, combine means to put together. We're putting sentences together. So let's read. It says, yesterday was career day at our school. Judge Patel came to talk. Officer Cortez came to talk. We learned about laws and courts. Then a bus driver talked about her job. A doctor talked about his job. They both said it is their job to make people safe. 
hopefully you heard some sentences that really need to be combined. They're just too short and choppy and they repeat themselves except for one part of the sentence. So I see this. Judge Patel came to talk. Officer Cortez came to talk. Okay. How could we combine those two sentences? Well, they both, what did both of the people do? They came to talk. They came to talk. So that has to be at the end of our sentence. But we have Judge Patel. So remember, whatever I do, you do. Judge Patel and Officer Cortez came to talk. Doesn't that sound better than Judge Patel came to talk, Officer Cortez came to talk? That sounds much better. Judge Patel and Officer Cortez came to talk. And then we learned about laws and courts because judges and officers, they kind of they're, they kind of work together in some ways. Now, what is another, what are two more sentences that could be combined? Let's see. Then a bus driver talked about her job. A doctor talked about his job. Could we combine those two sentences? Both of them, what did they both do? They both talked about his job or their job. But we have a bus driver and a doctor. So how, we, how could we combine these two sentences? All right, that is your job for writing today. You are going to make sure you do, you're gonna write this sentence and you're gonna write this sentence down here, okay? And then tomorrow, when I'm back in the classroom, we will go over these sentences and continue with this packet. All right, good luck, do your best.